Hello everybody, welcome back to another Nether Gecko Gaming video. And instead of this video, I am playing this new mining tycoon. So as you can see here, I have this one drill that is producing gold ore, and it seems like I can upgrade it for 120 coins. And there's this box here where I can pick up and I get a chest. Wait, where did it go? And then I put it here, and then with E, you let the car run. And there's something that says you've learned how to earn your cash. This is a gift for you, which gives me free 5,000 and 10 gems, which that's a lot. So I'm pretty sure. Oh, this has a lot of upgrades. So I think. I think this is the amount of cash is inside of the box and how much it's earning per second. And there is a bunch of stuff like diamonds, boosts, and there's also missions. And I'm pretty sure that this is like a new Roblox game. And you can use diamonds to get like a bunch of stuff like there's going to be like some pop-ups. That will appear soon. So, yeah. I'm now going to save up to get the next production line. So I just got a bunch of money. So when this goes by, I'm going to be able to get my next production line, which is producing diamond ore. So if I upgrade it, it will now be generating a lot more diamond ore. Also, it looks like that the generators like, keep changing what they look like when I upgrade them a lot. So there's this green arrow that's pointing me all the way over there. So it just gave me my second floor, which I'm not that sure of what you're able to do here. Can reduce your expenses. Oh, minus upgrade price levels. It also makes the factory deep permit time minus 5%. So if I spend three gems, it produce cash and diamonds at few minutes, get 422 cash every minute and one diamond every two minute. So if I buy that, it's now at level one and it's going to do that every minute. And I can keep upgrading it with diamonds. Oh, and I already have a reward. So, I am going to just buy this area. Owning a factory. What? Owning a factory to production line can be unlocked. Oh, do I have to unlock it? Also, with gems, you're able to, like, buy these, like, upgrades. So, if I go back to the first floor... I will have almost enough cash to be able to then get my next production line. So I just got it. Also, I'm going to get this to level 5, and it just changed. And if I get this to level 20, it's now this. Yeah, this game has a lot of different stuff, and there's auto-collect. And it seems like diamonds is a really good, it seems like diamonds is kind of like how you spend Robux. So like everybody can get it instead of Robux spenders. And what is this? Level one click fight. I do not know what this is supposed to be. Defeat invaders, you won, collect your rewards. And I got cash and I got... A guardian, maybe? Oh, yeah! So, I guess this protects the base from more of those troops. But, oh! So, I got it to max level, and now it says I can reset. If I click reset, it will get me plus 100% plus 100% profit and guard defense. So, now I can see it right there. And I'm guessing that you could just, like, keep resetting it by upgrading it. Oh, it just ran out 
of cash. So I'm just going to save up a lot more cash and then I'm going to get these to level 25. Also, it looks like that I just got this to max level. Also, look, I just started a fight and these two are just fighting, but my mouse seems to do more damage. And I just got another one of these guys. Oh, I can upgrade him. And now he is stronger. So, I it seems like every once in a while a person appears here that you can battle. In this area, I just notice it's generating me like these purely cut diamonds. I just got my diamond generator to level 25, so I'm going to set it to stage 1. And then I'm just going to try to see if I can max it out. So close. Also, I just got to the level 4 click fight. So I'd say put your best tower at the first place because that's the first area that this tower will attack at and then put your other guards here and if you don't this person will go by and rob you of your cash that you are generating and for some reason i only have this one guardian that i keep getting and now he is a level five guardian so now Oh, this one can get to a stage 2, which gets plus 300% profit and 200 guard defense. So you can see that this has two of those and this has one. And I'm pretty sure that after I max this out again, it will then be max. And this one's probably going to be able to get three, next four... Because I'm guessing that's how this game levels out the stuff. Also, I just went back here. And my rewards were 669,000 cash and 3 gems. And I am going to hopefully save up for this. And, well, I might buy this. And it inc this only increases income in this reduces your expenses and i'm not able to buy that yet but what is this area oh can earn your can earn you idle income oh my this is pretty good so that is like an idle thing but now if i come back here I'll have enough to upgrade this area once. And here is another person that is invading. So I can see that my guy is taking more damage than him. So I'm just going to move him over here where they're... Well, I guess I can't move him right now. So I'll just have to click on him. And... I don't want to know what happens if your guy fails to defend the area. So I am hopefully going to be able to defeat him. Oh, I got a new tower. And he doesn't seem to have as much firepower as my other guy. But I'm going to put this one here because this is an upgraded area. Also... I can now reset this one, and I'm going to have it even stronger. In the next production area is making gold coins. So it looks like that this guy is going to fail, but then hopefully my guardian here will be able to take him out. Also, I have been using the prize wheel feature, and this time I got 10 gems. So, for some reason, this battle is taking forever. I just noticed that there's this research button where you can buy a bunch of, like, items and stuff. So, you can get safe, transport, tr safe transportation, which increases mineral conveyor speed. And, basically, you can upgrade your entire tycoon. So, you... 
Also, in the epic area, you use diamonds increases auto collect time by that. And basically, this just like it only works with the boost that you use coins on. And I somehow have not noticed a bunch of these random gifts that are here and just spin the price wheel but i'm gonna work on a bunch of my upgrades the main one that i'm gonna work on is probably that and then i'll we'll just ooh mineral treasury i wonder what that is so i'm just gonna hopefully get some more cash and see if this one also maxes out at this level or if it goes higher. I just got another production line, which makes these glasses of something. So now I'm gonna reset my crystals and it's gonna get me plus 700 profit and 300 guard defense. So I'm now gonna assign my best guard here and assigned my other guard right here, so they would be stronger. And now I'm gonna rebattle this one because this this robber is really powerful. He does 576 damage, which is a lot. He's probably gonna take out all my. Maybe not. No, he's definitely going to take out everything. Unless I can defeat him. Yay! New tower. So if I go here, I can assign my new tower. Wait. Upgrade and upgrade. No. So now I have the best defense I'm pretty sure that I could have right now. I can get a building permit for 62 trillion. i am now got the maximum gem. And I'm going to upgrade this to its first tier. I now have enough gems to get this upgrade and it reduces my expenses. So I have enough gems to upgrade it once. And also this button can change what floor you're on. But now I should be able to do this. And for some reason, there's a permit pending, and I think that's to unlock this next area. Now, I am able to reset this area, so I will have a better place. Also, this is going to be it for this video. I hope you like, subscribe, and enjoyed. Also, comment down below if you want me to do another video on this game.